Hello, and thank you for your interest in our Mission and Ministry Grants program. My name is Kara Whitehouse, and I serve as the Executive Support Manager and Grants Coordinator for MBA. Today, we'll be sharing an introduction to the Mission and Ministry Grants program, as well as outlining how to get started. I am joined today by my colleague, Rebecca Hale, Executive Vice President for the MBA, who will start us off by outlining a brief history of MBA and the program itself. Hi, it's good to be with you today. NBA, National Benevolent Association, is the Health and Social Service Ministry of the Christian Church, Disciples of Christ. Our mission reads like this, following God's call, the National Benevolent Association exists to inspire and connect the people and ministries of the Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, to accompany one another in the creation of communities of compassion and care, and to advocate for the well-being of humanity. The NBA works across the life of the church to equip partner ministries and organizations who, revive, who are providing care on behalf of God's work in the world. And so we work with entities that provide um, things like affordable housing or spiritual care for those who are incarcerated and returning citizens, children and family services. Some of our partners are involved with older adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Some of our partners provide outreach services with older adults. We have partners that we work with across the life of the church who are working with intimate domestic violence and um, just generally addressing a wide variety of areas of injustice that exists within our communities. The NBA comes alongside these disciples related health and social service ministries to equip and resource them to connect them with each other, and to inspire the broader church with their stories about what's possible, about what disciples are already doing in terms of ministries and care, and about what might be possible in your own communities. The mission and ministry grants are a part of this broader work of the National Benevolent Association. Through the mission and ministry grants, the NBA utilizes purpose-restricted funds to support projects and ministries across the church. They, there are two areas of restrictions for NBA's mission and ministry grants. The first is educational purposes for at-risk children and youth who are between the ages of 10 and 25 years old. The second category of grants that we're able to provide are as in the area of older adult ministries. Those ministries that our congregations or our health and social service ministries might be engaging that are really focused on caring for and doing work with those who are 50 and older. So those are the two restrictions, educational purposes for at-risk children and youth and older adult ministries. This is the third year for the NBA mission and ministry grants. Over the course of these first two years, the NBA has been able to distribute over $300,000 worth of funding within those two areas of work, youth and young adults and older adults. 11 of those grants in the past two years were given for work with older adults, and 23 of those grants were given for those who are working, doing educational projects for youth and young adults. Seven grants covered both of those areas. So it is possible to write a grant that focuses on both older adults and youth and young adults and have that funded. And we've, as I said, we've funded seven of those. In 2019, we expect to keep on pace for those grant amounts and fully expect to be able to distribute over $150,000 again this year in our grants. Karen is going to talk with us a little bit about some of the frequently asked questions, some of those things that might be top of the mind for you, and then we're going to walk through um, some of the concrete pieces that you'll need to have ready to go as you prepare for your grant application. As Rebecca said, we've had the joy and privilege of granting several organizations over the last couple of years. One of those organizations that I just briefly wanted to talk about today is called the Nashville Food Project. And this was a grantee who received monies from us last year in 2018. And they've shared recently with us just some testimonial of this process. One of them has written to us, it was an older adult participant who shared, before the Nashville Food Project, I would forget to eat. Now I'm eating more regularly, and my health is improving. Another stated, the Nashville Food Project has no idea how much help it is. It's just beautiful. The National Food Project is just one of the many people that we were able to grant last year. 
And in 2019, they anticipate sharing more than 5,000 nutritious meals and snacks each week with senior citizens across the city in vulnerable neighborhoods. This is just one example of one of the projects that we've been able to help over the past couple of years. If you'd like more stories and to find out more information about the people that we've sent grants to and the organizations that have received those, um, they can be found on our website at nbacares.org slash grants. As we get started, we're going to go into um, an overview of our FAQ sheet, which can also be found on our website. And I'm going to share with you a small page that we've created on how to get started. That sheet will be available on our website as well, so if you're trying to pass it out and share with your friends and your colleagues, you can hand this out at different events. Give me just a moment to share that with you. All right, we should be sharing now. And as you can see, this is just a half sheet page that we're happy to have for you to share out with your um, friends and colleagues. And on here, the first thing that's available is just a link and information on how to access our grant website, which I will show you now. On our website, you'll find lots of stories, lots of information, and a link to an application. On our website, you'll also find, if you scroll down through this website, you'll find an overview that shares the information Rebecca previously mentioned, our grant categories and amounts, application process and evaluation, as well as more information and frequently asked questions. I'm going to open this just so that you can see what this looks like. We have a five-page document that overviews all of this information in case you're a person like me who likes to read. And Rebecca has already covered several pieces of this, but I'm going to go through just a little bit more, starting with areas of support that NBA does not support. One of those is individuals. Another is an endowment, purchase or goods purchase requests, national ceremonies or similar events, and you'll see a couple of other areas there. This list again is not exhaustive, but it is a brief example of what we will not be able to support. Any congregation in health and social service ministry affiliated with the Christian Church Disciples of Christ located in the U.S. or Canada that currently holds a 501c3 tax-exempt status through the church or state in which they operate is eligible to submit a proposal for funding. Canadian projects must be registered charities through the CRA. If you have any questions about that, please reach out to us at our grants email, which is grants at mbacares.org. Let's talk about some of the fun stuff, which is the categories of funding and how much you're eligible to get. The first thing is our catalyst grants. These are grants that are ranged from 1,000 to 5,000 USD. They're created for startup funds, for projects, get them running, or to expand an existing project into a new area. Innovation grants run from 6,000 up to 15,000 USD. These funds help establish projects, enter into a new level of effectiveness and impact. Impact grants, which is our largest grant category, is um, funds that can be used for major leaps in your project area. It requires a proven plan, and you get to work with MBA in a way um, that we get to help monitor that and, and establish that. We'll also be sharing out those learnings with the greater church. Again, all of this information is available on our website, and you can go to that via mbacares.org slash grants. Now, I am going to stop screen sharing for just a moment so that I can find my right page here, and I'll let you know how to access the application. On our website, on the same page, there is a link at the bottom. And again, I'm going to share this with you. Thank you. At the bottom, it says apply for a mission and ministry grant. This will take you to our third party's website that allows you to submit an application. This is through Smarter Select, and we have the benefit of doing it through this website so that you can start, stop, save, continue, and work on this application as a process. It is a lot of information, and it does give you the opportunity to do it over a period of time instead of trying to sit down and do it all at once. As you can see, there's, again, more description and information of our grants and grant categories, as well as how to get started. In order to do this, you will have to create an account. It's a simple process where you just simply create a user account and then apply. Again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us from our grants email at grants at mbacares.org. Before you get started with an application, the very first thing it will do is offer you an eligibility quiz. If you find that as you're going through these questions, 
your project or what you've envisioned for your project falls squarely into the yes categories of this eligibility quiz, then you are ready to begin an application. And we are excited to hear from you. Have any questions about Smarter Select, saving, returning, any questions about the process, please refer to our website or please reach out to us. We're so excited to hear from you this year and we look forward to the organizations that we will be granting. Rebecca will be closing us out um, and offering some last words of encouragement for those along the journey. So just a couple of things as you get started, um, say you've, you've uh, done the pre-quiz and you're ready to go and fill out that application. Some of the documents that you'll want in front of you as you do that is budget information for your organization and your project. So if your project, your very particular project is part of a broader organization, say you're the homeless ministry of First Christian Church Knoxville, you will need the budget for First Christian Church Knoxville and the budget for your particular project. So we want you to have that ready as you sit down to do that application. We want you to have your mission and vision statements for your organization projects in front of you so that you can fill out those sections adequately. You'll want to have thought through your project outline and plan, including goal and outcome statements. Just a reminder, and we'll talk, you know, we, if you have some questions about this, we're glad to, to entertain those questions um, through our email system. But one of the things that's very important is that your goals and outcomes align with your project proposal. So that how you describe your project should meet, lead naturally to what goals and outcomes that you hope to achieve. And those should be in line with the purpose restriction for the grant for which you're applying. So take a few minutes to think through that before you get to the application. And then you'll wanna have all your contact information for yourself, for your project, for your organization, or for your congregation as you, as you sit down to do that. Just a reminder, the application is due by September 6, 2019. So get started now, work your way through it. That'll give you plenty of time to ask questions if you need, que if you need to have some questions answered by us. I really want to encourage you to make note of the grants email, grants at nbacares.org. That'll put you directly in touch with Kara, who, is, um, who holds the answers to all things grants for NBA. Additionally, I want to encourage you to spend some time on the NBA website, nbacares.org, and get familiar with the way NBA works, with the kind of projects we fund. I think that'll help you as you go to fill out your application. Finally, if you aren't following the NBA on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I would really encourage you to do that. Those are the primary formats in which we share out stories of other health and social service partners who might also inspire you, who might give you some ideas about what's possible in your community. We are grateful that you're thinking about the NBA as a ministry partner with you. We're grateful to work for the work that you do in your community that uh, we are certain changes lives right on your very own doorstep. And we hope to be partners with you in this grant, this mission and ministry grant process. Thank you. Thank you.